and we're back with another project. This project was making a stream deck and the reason I chose to make a stream deck was because a stream deck is really expensive. Why would I go out and buy a stream deck when I could just make my own? I have the knowledge, I have the tools, I have the Arduinos, I have the cables. I could somewhat 3D model. In fact, this is my first time using Fusion 360 and I think it did pretty well. It's a good project to test my ability and to learn. So I think it's really comprehensive. So I might not be using the most advanced techniques or the best way. My workflow is probably not the best, but I made it work and that's what matters. And for future projects, I'll probably get better if I just look at more tutorials. This will enhance my 3D modeling ability. Just so you know, my first big project. So what I'm going to be using for this project is well, Fusion 360 and Arduino. And the Arduino code is actually from an article that will be in the description. And I just modified that code in order to fit more buttons because I believe the original one would only work with six buttons. So I just added some more buttons, which was really easy to do. And I think it came out nice. The code worked when I was testing it. It was great. And also you might see me stop here and there. That's because I'm Googling. Even though it's sped up, you can see there's some slight pauses. That's because I'm Googling or trying to figure out something or I'm taking a break, going to the bathroom maybe, something like that. So there's slight pauses in there. And the way I did all my measurements, I actually did it all on cardboard first. <laughs> That's how I do most of my projects or I did in the past. And because I didn't have access straight away to a 3D printer, so I just did it on cardboard. And it worked out great. And then I used my digital calipers, measured a few things here and there, and hoped for the best <laughs> when making this model. I think it came out really nice. And I actually got my own 3D printer. I got the Ender 3. This project is going to be printed on the Ender 3. And the top took about like two hours to print. And the main case took about seven to eight hours to print. So it took a really, really, really long time. And it's actually a very, owning a 3D printer itself is a learning experience. There's so much you have to learn about and troubleshoot. And that was kind of frustrating in itself. At one point I thought about returning it or just ordering my 3D print, which would have been more expensive, but it could have looked a lot better. I wouldn't have had to struggle at all or anything, but I pushed through, I went through the learning curve, and now I know how to 3D print stuff correctly, which I'm really proud of myself for doing. And there's also some flaws in my design. For example, the hole in the back for the port is not big enough, so I actually had to sand that down and also the encasing where the Arduino Nano is going to fit in is too tight because the back is makes it really hard for the Arduino to go in and to pull it out. So I actually got some pliers and ripped that out when the print was done. And another big mistake I did was not adding holes at the bottom for rubber pads to prevent my stream deck from sliding on my desk. And I did do that in an another version of the model, which I didn't print. So here, I'm actually soldering the leads of these Cherry MX Browns because for the jumper cables, they weren't thick enough. And when I was done soldering, I was able to put the jumper cables on just like that and I also 3 printed that part right there right there and grounded all the pins and I tested it out like that and it actually works and then I had to put all this cable mess in together and these are 4 inch jumper cables so yeah this is what I'm talking about 
these rubber pads didn't have holes if they had holes it would have been way better another problem was the case wouldn't go nicely together there's also this gap that i accidentally um melted like i accidentally melted my print because i was using the heat gun to get rid of the white marks so i actually had to print the top twice but the main case i didn't want to wait seven or eight hours to fix so that's the end product and I actually got it to close really nicely just by applying some more pressure and look at that it looks amazing and you still have a little gap because it's melted but i could just print the new version which we have here you see the back is removed right there there's a gap so you could fit the arduino nano and the bottom have holes for the rubber stickers to prevent them from sliding around so yeah the that was my project for the Stream Deck. And I'll link um, all the files down below.